welcome back to my channel today i am doing a after dark clean with me it is definitely a messy house i am mainly just going to be cleaning my kitchen area and the living room area just because my kids are asleep on the one end of the house and my bedroom is my bathroom are really good but this is definitely like a messy house clean with me like i will show you what i'm working with We have, let's see, dog areas, usually a mess anyways. We have toys, toys, more toys. The infamous ball pit is out, so that's fun. I really need to vacuum this couch out. I really hope I don't wake my kids up while doing all this, but I'm gonna be cleaning the floors because it's about time I mop them. We have this area, and yes, we have been so busy this weekend, running around, going out with friends, doing a uh, strongman competition, just all kinds of things. We've been out and about with our kids and we just haven't been home. And I've actually already started the laundry because there's no way I could just wait to do this, but I've had so much laundry. I think I'm on like my fourth load today. I've washed my bed sheets, everything in this house has pretty much been washed. These are all still dirty, so yeah. Let's go ahead and get started because it is already 8.30 at night and I'm already tired. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get about going. To leave. Already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking, we'll get away. First thing I'm going to start off with is this ball pit. Comment down below if your kids have ever had a ball pit. You know, you have your first child and you're like, oh, I want to get a ball pit. That's going to be so much fun. Yeah, you know, they're all over the place all the time. I actually used to have three bags worth of those balls and we had a garage sale during the springtime and we actually sold two bags because it was ridiculous. Like we had balls everywhere and we already still have balls everywhere. It's just crazy. But I do love that this ball pit makes my kids super happy. So it's totally worth picking them up every time that they drag them out of that closet. If you're new here, I want to introduce myself. My name is Kristen and this is Life Made Simple. I also run a blog called lifemadesimple.blog. I do a lot of home decor and DIY home projects. We are a military family and living in Texas at the moment. We have about, I'd probably say about 18 months left here. And my plan was we bought this fixer upper house. I've done so much to it and our plan is to sell it and hopefully we can buy in the next place because I just love owning a home and redoing things and painting and just making our house a home. months back, I think at the beginning of September, I talked about doing a Q&A and I was going to do it over top of a cleaning video just because I thought it would be a lot more fun and entertaining and hold people's attention more if I did it over a cleaning ver video versus sitting and just staring at the camera talking. Um, I still plan on doing that. I'm definitely going to get that done I before December. I've just been kind of all over the place trying to finish a lot of house projects and trying to manage my time with my kids and YouTube and my blog and it's been one heck of a ride over here at our house. Here 
I'm going to be cleaning the floor with this Aunt Fanny's cleaner and I'm adding a little bit of, I believe that was grapefruit essential oil, just because this Aunt Fanny's stuff, it is really good. It's all natural. It's really good for your, the environment and your kids and whatnot, um, but it does smell like vinegar. It's not actually too bad. I'm a little bit more used to it now. But if you don't like the smell of vinegar at all, like not even the slightest smell, I wouldn't suggest it. I just got it because pretty much if you look up any floor cleaner and you download the app called Think Dirty and you scan it, almost every floor cleaner is just like horrible. Just like so bad for you. And I try my best to keep it as clean as possible when it comes to cleaning products, but I'm also not perfect. There is some things that I just haven't compromised on, but I try my best to be as good as I can. right under my bar area it is dirty all the time crumbs peanut butter everything and that's because my three-year-old she sits here and she does crafts she eats her lunch she eats her breakfast there every morning most of the time she eats dinner with us at the big table but she is at this table all the time all snacks and everything are ate right here where she can see the TV or she can just do her own thing. So comment down below, does your kids have like a little table that they sit at all the time? Because this table definitely gets some love. I think my parents got it for around 50 bucks on amazon.com and it is well worth the money. And that's fairly cheap for like a little kid's table that looks really cute. <laughs> last load of the night ended up being white and I may just be the odd person but I hate 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 the smell of bleach I even buy the bleach that has like the scent in it I it's like I don't even know what it is like there's like a meadow one and then there's like a pink one um, and it's not too bad but something about it when it's running in the washer and like if I close the door and then open it ugh, I just it makes me want to barf. I don't like the smell of bleach. I know some people love it, but I don't. I'm sorry for the lighting in this video, but it is nighttime. So the yellow lights are on. I feel like my eyes are like, I could just close them right now. It is 9.45. It has been an hour and 15 minutes since I've started. And I don't know why I do this to myself. I think I started in the living room because I wanted to watch KK Baby J's vlog so I started in there so I could see the TV but now I still have like the whole kitchen to do like the part that I hate the most like cleaning the kitchen is my least favorite thing to do so I should have started with it so I didn't like dread it but it's the place that we use the most and it's a place that needs to be cleaned because I'm in here like half of my day so Oh yeah, and I found out while switching laundry over that while we were gone majority of the day yesterday and I even came home halfway through to let the dogs out, we always put them in the laundry room. My dog has been chewing this in the wall. Yeah, you got the wall too. That's great. Yeah, so I guess it's just because they were in there for more than like two hours, which is probably the max that they're normally in there um, since we've lived here pretty much. But yeah, they're probably in there at one point, four hours straight. And then I came home, let them out and they were out for like three more hours. And then I put them back and then they were probably in there for another three hours. So my guess is they were a little bit over it. 
Um, but no, no biggie. It's just a piece of wood. Just have to rip that one off and put a new one on. And I am literally like sweating. I'm sure you can see the gloss. I am sweating. I need to stop talking. I need to get back to this. <laughs> Tonight we're running on the right track I know we never gonna look back Oh, I just wanna have a good time Call me whatever I'm up for anything like that oh, no. You guys, I was so tired and so over cleaning at this point. I know it was almost 10 o'clock, but... There's some nights I can stay up till midnight and I just cannot wind down and then there's other nights that I want to go to bed at 7 p.m. Like, I just want to go to bed and this weekend was actually a really, really busy weekend for us. And comment down below, do you guys have like an area in your house that's like a catch-all? Like, everything just is like a magnet and sticks to it? That would be this bar area. We don't obviously sit here like a bar. We used to have bar stools, but let's just say with kids, that's just not working in my house because my kid likes to climb on it and then tip it over and yeah. But oh, also fun, fun story for you guys. I had a coupon for three free Walmart deliveries, not the pickup, but for them to bring it to your house. So I did it for my first time because I didn't have to pay like the $7 charge. I was like, oh, it's free. Like I am have a crazy weekend. Like I will just have the groceries come to our house. So you see me smelling these little orange thingies, cuties or whatever you call them. Um, that's because when this lady dropped off our groceries, there was two of them. There were two little old ladies. And I was like, oh, you know, that's cute. Like, I guess I didn't realize that they weren't Walmart employees. Well, I bring all the bags inside. They reeked of weed and gasoline. I don't know if she ever like had a gasoline canister in her trunk at one point and like it spilled and then the bag sat on it. But I was like, I was so disgusted. I left a bad review. I ended up getting a $10 credit back because somebody called me the next day. But I was actually smelling these because they were like in the bag that smelled the worst and just because they were open and they could absorb anything there's actually like half the bag was bad i was not happy with my walmart grocery pickup or drop off whatever delivery at all this time like so mad so i was going through because those were for my kids and my husband to eat and i just wanted to make sure that they were perfectly fine but yeah not a good experience at all You pack the flashlight, the blanket, and the man. It's a real adventure, the trail you're looking at. I'm glad you came for a while. I thought you might be bailing. Is that the same yellow shirt you used to wear? But a thousand years seem like almost no time now. This guitar right here, do you still remember how? I played for you, I was crappy, but you sang along and I thought you knew I could die to keep you near We've got a bar in the tent, it's 5.30 a.m. Let's be the kids who left get in trouble again That stuff got nothing on you, that was brand new Still it's got nothing on you tonight I don't need to go over all Useless words. What you said, what I said, that might have made it worse. And this, this right here sums up my life. This is a sock. Like, why was my one year old sock just sitting on the kitchen counter? Like, I have no clue what's going on at all. It is 
now 10 45 my battery is about to die and i am sweating i have been doing this for what almost almost three hours now so i got pretty much everything done i have a the washer's almost done so I gotta switch over laundry and that will just dry overnight and then I'm gonna fold laundry tomorrow because I am tired, I'm ready to go to bed. The kids have school, well, my one kid has school tomorrow. And yeah, I'll show you everything. How it looks now is pretty much clean. So my husband actually loaded the dishwasher, just have to start it. He cleaned all that stuff. I wiped down the countertops, everything is super clean. We have a couple things out over here, but that's really nothing. The floors are clean, the laundry room is clean. I have to empty that, but I got this put back up against the wall after I painted the baseboards last week. And all this is clean, everything is mopped, everything's wiped down to put that away. And laundry to fold, so I might fold these before I go to bed, but yeah everything is so clean this is so nice i can't remember the last time i have cleaned my house from head to toe and then like went to bed like an after dark clean with me it is going to be so nice when i wake up in the morning that this is completely clean so thank you so much for watching if you like this video hit the red subscribe button and hit the like button if you like these after dark clean with me's and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!